हेलो फ्रेंड्स इट्स टाइम टू डिस्कस 2017 पेपर टू मैथ्स एंड साइंस क्वेश्चन पेपर लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द मैथ्स पेपर एज यू ऑल आर नोइंग दैट मैथ्स एंड साइंस विल कम ऑन द पार्ट फोर ऑफ द पेपर इन द पार्ट फोर वी कैन सी क्वेश्चन नंबर 91 वन टू वन ट्वेंटी द क्वेश्चन विल बी फॉर मैथ्स एंड फ्रॉम वन टू वन इट विल बी फॉर साइंस लेट्स सी विद द मैथ्स क्वेश्चन लेट मी गो थ्रू द क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन्टी वन Which is the largest four-digit number exactly divisible by 88? You can see here they they have given the four options, and you can say all the four numbers are divisible by 88, but except option number two. And just remove this option number two, and you can see option number one, two, and four. Out of these numbers, just tell me which which number is the largest here. You can say that option four is the largest number, so the correct option for this will be option number four. You can see I have divided here, so nine hundred and sorry, nine thousand nine hundred and forty-four here is the correct answer. Right? Now come to question number ninety-two here. See the question number ninety-two. How many prime numbers are less than fourteen? Do you know prime numbers means the numbers which are divisible by itself only. So you can see the prime number less than forty means it will come. Um, it will be two, three, five, seven, eleven, thirteen, seventeen, nineteen, twenty-three, twenty-nine, thirty-one, and thirty-seven. Forty-one will also be there, but forty-one will be the greater than forty. But we want less than forty. So here the options for this will be. You can count these numbers, and it is twelve only. So option two here is correct. Now come to question number ninety-three here. What is the value of a and b? You can see clearly here that if you want eight here, so the b should be seven. B seven means you you are having b as seven in option two and three. In option two and three, you are having b value as seven. But out of these two, you have to choose the correct answer. So just apply. both the options and try to get to the answer so the correct answer for this will be option number 3 right i have given the solution also here you can see it and you can get to the correct option now come to question number 94 so you can you can write this as option number 1 only right see the question here which mathematical operation does the following diagram indicates so it is nothing but only option number 1 Right now, come to question number ninety-five. It is application-oriented question. Just see the question mm, thoroughly. I'll read the question over here. Kumar works one and half hours on Monday. Right? I can write one and half as a mixed fraction. I can convert in in the form of proper fraction as three by two. And they have given uh, two and one fifth hours, right? How you have to write that as a mixed fra- in the form of proper fraction means it should be eleven by two on Tuesday and four hours on Wednesday. So of this total time, one third hour is spent for browsing internet. So what the Kumar is doing is performing the work on uh, for the sum hours on the. particular days on monday tuesday and wednesday and they are asking that how many hours does he spend on browsing internet only so just what is your work is here is that just make use of that values and just add it up 3 by 2 plus 11 uh, upon 5 plus 4 you are going to get that will be 77 upon 10 and they have given that one third of time is given for Internet browsing. So one third. I have taken the one third of seventy-seven upon ten. You can see here, one third of seventy-seven upon ten will be seventy-seven uh, by thirty. If you further divide it, you are going to get the remainder as seventeen. Remainder as seventeen, and the question as two. So the option four here will be the correct option. I I have not marked here, but the option four here is correct option, right? Now come to question number ninety-six here. In a class of sixty students, one fourth of the students like to study science. How many like to study science? One fourth, and two third of the students like to study English. And the remaining students like to study mathematics. What fraction of the total number of students like to study mathematics only? So they are saying that remaining. Remaining means I am taking one minus of that numbers, right? One minus. 
वन फोर्थ एंड टू थर्ड आई हैव जस्ट एडेड दैट टू नंबर्स एंड आई हैव सब्ट्रैक्टेड फ्रॉम द वन एंड आई गॉट द आंसर इज वन अपॉन ट्वेल्व इट्स नॉट वन बाई टू इट्स वन अपॉन ट्वेल्व सो द ऑप्शन हियर इज ऑप्शन नंबर वन Now come to question number ninety-seven here. If x minus two is a factor of the equation, they have given the equation here, and they are asking to find the value of p. X minus two is factor means the value of x should be equal to two. Wherever x is there in this equation, just put uh, there two. Then you are going to get the answer for p will be five. So option three here is correct. Now come to question number ninety-eight here is. In question number ninety-eight, they are asking about what is the nature of the roots of the equation. They have given a quadratic equation, and they are asking about the nature of roots. As we know, there will be the three natures: if delta is greater than zero, if delta is equal to zero, if delta is less than zero. Right? If delta is greater than zero, real and equal roots will be there. No, sorry, real and yes. And equal roots will be there. If delta is equal to zero, uh, equal roots are there. If delta is less than zero, means what you are going to have? Yeah, the roots will be what? Imaginary only. So option four here is correct. For delta greater than zero, it was real and distinct, not real and equal, right? Oh, sorry for that. Now come to question number here, ninety-nine. In the question number ninety-nine, if to a uh, is to three b, they have given the ratio, and four b is to five c, then they are asking the value of a by c. You can see how I have written the answer here in the form as I have written a by b value as three by two from that ratio itself, and b by c value as five by four from that ratio itself, and I have divided a by b with the c by b, and I have got the answer as fifteen by eight. So option two will be correct for question number ninety-nine. Now come to question number hundred. Here you can see a line of 0.5 meter length is divided into two parts. In how many parts we are dividing? In two parts we are dividing a line of 0.5 meters, right? You can see I I have marked here. I have drawn a line and I have marked with the two parts. Uh, and such that the first part is two third of the second part. I am taking the second part to be x, huh? so the first part will be two third of x. So two third of x is there the first part and the second part is x. and they are asking that what is the length of the second part so how to calculate the length of the second part you just need to find the value of x here just just add these two terms and get to the answer so answer here will be 30 cm it's 0.3 meter so if you convert meter in the form of centimeter means you are going to get the answer as 30 cm so option here 3 will be correct i have not marked here sorry for that so option 3 will be correct option for this question a question number 101 you can see this question it's a easy question what is the value of x in the given geometrical figure they have given a triangle and firstly we uh, they have given the exterior angle by making use of the uh the property we can uh, write the here the angle for the inter interior angle will be 70 as how 180 minus 110 you are going to get as 70 and as you know uh, sum of all the angles of a triangle should be 180 degree i have just added all the angles here and i have got the value of x as 40 degrees so option 4 here is correct now come to question number 1 or 2 a circle circums circumscribes a rectangle with the sides of 6 cm and 8 cm i have given the diagram over here what is the circumference of the circle they have uh, in the question they have given that in a circle or rectangle we are going to get and they have given the sides of a rectangle also 6 and 8 and what i have just uh, done here is that i have just find uh, the value of the hypotenuse here by make use of uh, pythagoras theorem that i got the value as 10 so the radius will be half of that 10 so half of 10 will be 5 and they are asking in the question that circumference value uh, as you know the circumference formula for a circle is 2 pi r make use of these values just put the value of pi in the form of uh, decimal right uh, pi will be 22 by 7 in the form of frac uh, ratio in the form of uh, decimal you have to write 3.14 just remember that value and just substitute all the values then you are going to get the answer as 31.4 cm so option 2 here is correct Now come to question number one or three here. See the question: How many lines of symmetry are there in a regular pentagon? It should be five only, right? Now come to question number one or four here. Average daily rainfall during first thirty days of July was one point five. 
mm right millimeter however so much rain fell on 31 july that average daily rainfall for the month of july was 2 mm what is the rainfall on 31 july so what i have done here is that i have multiplied the 30 days with the 1.5 mm and the remaining one day with the 2 mm then you are going to get the total of rainfall for 31 days here you can say 30 days plus 1 day you are going to get the answer as 47 day for the whole month for the month of 31 days then i have just subtracted 30 from there and i have got the answer here as the 7 mm so the correct answer here is 7 mm now come to question number 105 here in a class 40% of the student offered kannada and 25% offered sanskrit and 10% offered both both means you have to make use of intersection uh and if uh, if a student is selected at random what is the probability that he has offered kannada or sanskrit or if they have given means make use of union there so i have uh, make use of that formula p of a union b equal to p of a plus p of b minus p of a intersection b and just put the value of kannada and sanskrit and just subtract the value of both you are going to get the answer for uh kannada or sanskrit that is a union b it is 55% what is the 55% in the form of fraction it will be 11 by 20 so the correct option for this will be option number 3 now come to question number 106 here one angle of an eight sided polygon is 65 degree and the other angles are equal what is the measure of the each equal angle they have given uh, number of sides here is 8 i have just uh, make use of the formula uh, total angle is equal to uh, n minus 2 into 180 degrees the formula to find the interior angle right now the value of n they have given here is 8 so uh, 8 minus 2 will be 6 here i have just multiplied the 6 with 180 and i have got 1080 as the answer for that and they have given here the interior angle one angle is 65 and the remaining angle remaining how many angles will be there seven angles and that angles are equal so i have taken that value as the 7x right So 7x plus 65 is equal to 1080, and from there I have got the answer for x as 145 degrees. So the correct option here is option number four. Now come to question number 107 here. See the question number 107. What is the perimeter of a uh, what semicircular plate of diameter 10 centimeter? I have drawn the semicircular plate here. In semicircular plate, we are going to get the semicircle plus the diameter. Right, semicircle plus diameter. What we have to do is we just have to add both the both the values. Pi r will be pi value will be three point one four, and the radius is the half of the diameter. It will be five. The diameter given in the question is ten itself. So just uh, make use of that value and try to get the answer. Answer you you will get twenty five point seven centimeter. Now come to question number one out eight here. In the question number one out eight, they are asking what is the area. area of the field from the following data they are asking the area of the field they have just given from a 30 then 30 to 50 to b right h to h 40 60 100 and 120 and f 30 just make use of that values and try to uh, uh, try to draw the Uh, uh, that field area right so here in this uh, in this diagram or in this field diagram you are going to get the different shapes firstly i have done, i have gone with the triangle uh, as you know area of a triangle will be half into base into height so base here will be from 0 to 60 means 60 60 meter will be the 60 unit will be the base and here the height here is the distance from here to here is 40 i have just multiply 40 with the 60 and have divided with the 2 and have got the answer as 1200 in the same way i have found it i have found the area of this triangle this triangle and this triangle but for this i have make use of the area of trapezium there i have got the value as 2800 and after that i have just added all these values and i have got the answer as 6250 units Now come to question number one out nine. Um, how many liters of water can a hemispherical ball of diameter ten centimeter hold? Whenever they are asking about the amount of water or amount of liquid present inside any shape, means just try to calculate its volume. 
how much is the volume that much will be the space inside the material so that much will be the uh, amount of liquid or water will be there inside the any shape so for hemi sphere i have uh, make use of the volume formula as 2 upon 3 pi r cube and they have given the value of radius uh, as you can see they have given diameter and the uh, radius will be half of it i have converted it in the form of meters right then uh, meters is converted into the liters so the correct option for here will be 0 0.261 is the correct answer but here so 0 0.26 is there in the option number 2 so option 2 here is correct now come to question number 110 in question number 110 what is the height of a cylinder whose radius is 7 centimeter for cylinder they have given the radius of a cylinder as 7 centimeter and the total surface area they have given the TSA of a cylinder as 968 I have just make use of the formula of TSA of a cylinder TSA is equal to 2 pi r into r h plus r or r plus h I just uh, substitute the values and try to get to the answer and you will get the answer as 15 centimeter so option 2 will be correct now come to question number 111 that is what do you call the method of establishing the truth of a proposition it should be logical proof of method only just remember this method name which indian mathematician gave the value of pi might you are knowing about this it is aryabhatta right so option one here is correct in which pro approach of uh, curriculum maturity level of children as well as difficulty level of the subjects are taken into consideration uh, while we are preparing the curriculum we should have to focus on the maturity and the difficulty level of the subject so we should have to uh, concentrate on which approach on the co-centric approach now come to question number 114 here which type of evaluation forms the base for formulating plan for seeking remedial action yes as we have know that diagnostic test is the um, test used to measure the strength and the weaknesses of a child on that basis only we, we are we are doing the evaluation of the children so here the test is nothing but the diagnostic test which of the following is the formal technique of summative evaluation summative evaluations are nothing but the uh, annual examinations uh, semester examination so it is nothing but the examination it is not a discussion observation and feed, feedback this won't come under the summative evaluation now come to question number 116 here which method which method provides a written guidelines by which student learning is assessed you should know about this it is the rubrics rubrics is the method which provides written guidelines to the learning students now mathematics is question number 117 mathematics is the language with which god wrote universe uh, my, uh, we have got this question in the earlier paper also it was this statement was given by the galileo who has discovered telescope also now come to question number 118 a mathematics teacher arranges for a visit to local bank while teaching mathematics in daily life what type of learning resource is used by the teacher so the bank is there in the community right so it is the community resource so the correct option here is option number two now come to question number 119 which of the following is not a paradigm shift according to continuous comprehensive evaluation so here the option two will be correct learning process to learning outcomes is the not a shift now come to question number 120 the nature of mathematics is how is the nature of mathematics all the mathematics all the science students should know about it it is the imagination and intuition so the correct option here will be option number one so this is for today thank you so much let's meet on the next video for the further more videos like share and subscribe